Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I am over here. And I'm Woolly Mike and I'm over here. But together you are... A modeling for advantage! <laughs> Well, this is exciting because we're going to make our first last stand check of the game. So, he's the last unit left he needs to survive. The last tank in his unit and he's yeah. having serious thoughts about what three to do. plus. He's good. He's good. However, that unit is not in good standing. He's going to be making that roll every turn for the rest of the game. There's this principle of good spirits for units in, in Flames of War. Once they've gone below a certain threshold, Every turn, there's a chance that they're just going to give up. So, he's going to stay where he is, and he's going to be using his machine guns on the infantry unit. These guys are going to stay where they are, and are going to look over there at your two Panzer IVs. Very nice. The two command tanks are going to try and finish those guys off by staying still. And, <laughs> and razzing them up. Yep. Yeah. And then this infantry is going to start shooting at these guys again. So I'm going to start over there with my tanks. Okay. So these guys are not in bulletproof cover, so you can just roll all 10 of your machine gun dice at them. Yep. Because um, you're not going to need to make a firepower check. And it's short range, but you've got concealment. So it's fives. And there's three fives. There is three. So that's a conveniently one on each unit. So first up, the Shrek. Is okay. The commander is okay. The rifle team is okay. There we go. I'm getting this is a bit of a long reach for me, so I'm, if you can yep. still see them, I'm going to roll my dice over here. So I've <laughs> got a nice space there. We're ranged, oh, range markers there, so the mortar's going to fire again. So thump, 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 go down the rounds. You're going to hit them on fours, um, but you have to re roll hits because you're a small battery. Yeah. So roll your three dice. And then re-roll it to see if you actually do hit. Yes, you do. So, oh, we should have decided which one it was. It was the f it was the leftmost dice, so we'll make it the Zooka. Yep. As long as you're happy with that, I make my save. However, the same. you've been ranged in several times. I don't repeat bombardment, so I have to re-roll successful saves. Whoops, that's a definitely a cock dice. That is still that's okay. Now, if this was not a single mortar in this battery. This is a single light mortar. This is a very small amount of artillery. If it was a six gun battery, I wouldn't be re-rolling my, um, you wouldn't have to re-roll your hits. You'd get to re-roll your misses. Yes. You know, so it, it, it's at the very low end of the threshold. So the rest of the unit, they've lost one rifle stand. So it's eight for rifles and still 10 for the heavy machine guns or light machine guns, I apologize. Yeah, okay. So. Firing at the same same guys? Over here. Over there. Okay. So, so these are the rifles. Okay. So you're hitting on fives, is that right? Yes. And I'll have three hits. You'll have the first three hits. All right. And there are three units at the front. Yeah. And then you're going to be firing all of the machine guns uh, into the... Now, are these firepower six or five? I think they're sixes because they're rifle caliber machine guns. They're, yes, they are all sixes. Yeah. So... But one. this is the hits, looking for fives. Yes. So another three hits. Another three hits. So that's two on the guys inside the bulletproof cover. And I'll give the Shrek the answer one. You're not. You're going to give it to the one you targeted. Because this is the first excess dice. So that's that unit That's going to be I'm, that one. Well, apologies. Yeah. Yes, I remember. That's all right. From... Yeah. Okay. So there we go. There might be some range issues with the longer ones firing over, over there. Yeah. All right, you can subdivide this firing as much as you want. You can, if you really want to, fire one team, one team, two teams. So a little bit of what's been going on here is a little bit of what we often call fast rolling. You don't have to play it that way. If you want to work it out team by team, target by target, you can. All right, so I'm gonna make my saves. So we're gonna start with these dice. These guys are okay. He's failed to save and is not in cover. He's okay. These guys are in bulletproof cover. They pass their save anyway. They pass their save anyway. Now, my commander just died. And in a lot of games, that would be really grim. But this is not a 
squad level action. This is a company level action. Or actually, it's a company plus. You've got a company normally and extra assets. So the loss of a single corporal isn't decisive in that same way, whatever. So when your command team dies, another unit within the platoon becomes the commander. So I'm gonna switch that out. The commander model within the platoon is really important for determining whether you're in command and control and cohesion, but he doesn't actually function differently to another rifle team and his loss isn't necessarily devastating. If you had a unit really strong out and the commander was at one end, then it could start to matter and it affects how they can move. But in most cases, just somebody else becomes the commander, end of. So these are gonna fire the machine gun, so three for the heavy machine gun, two for the light machine gun. Mm -hmm. Firing the light machine guns first. That's one, one hit. hit. Okay, and then the heavy machine gun. So that's gonna hit the Zuki guy, right? Yes, please. And then the heavy machine gun gets another hit. One hit. The other guy in the open. Zuki guy makes his save, passes it, and the command team fails it. Boof! So again, we've got this bouncing of who's in charge now as the squad is being dwindled down to quite a small size. I do still have three guys in this squad, but only three. And then my three 76mm Shermans have all turned their turrets to face... The Panzer Fear. The fours. You Panzer don't... Fear. Yeah, yeah. You don't have any concealment, but you do have long range. Right, yo. So that's fives. Okay, yeah. If, that, if, if they're long range, but not concealed, that would be fives. One hit. Boom! So you're going to hit this one because it's the nearer of the yeah, two. Firepower 12. Uh, and I've got a front armor of a six. I want to say six. Uh, but it's long range, so seven. And then a lucky five or a six could make a difference here. Not lucky one! Boom! Lucky one. So you penetrated, but you now make a firepower check, which is either going to be three or four for that. Three gun. plus. Oh! So I'm bailed out, but I'm not down. Boom. And that concludes my turn. Right then, things are starting to look a bit shady. I'm going to try and remount this tank. Whoops! A one! It does not remount, it remains bailed out. But you're now down to one active tank. Does that Indeed. mean you make the last stand? So yeah, as Mike was just pointing out, these guys, without having uh, this, if there's a bailed out tank, there's only one left, right? Yeah. That's going to cause me some problems when it comes to the last stand check. I've got a pinned unit here, I unpin. They do unpin! I see, it. see, I said it so confidently <laughs> that I unpin. And over here, I want to unpin as well. And they and do boom. unpin! Boom! Right, now we are going to get us... We're going to eat some Yankees for breakfast. But first, we're going to make a last stand check over here. And we have a last stand, Third Reich, special rule, three plus. Yep. They are still in the game. In the movement phase, <laughs> in the movement phase, these guys are going to tactical move into this building. So we're gonna have the two little teams upstairs and the big team on the downstairs. That's where they've gone. These guys are not going to move. They're not going to move. These could see the one tank previously. Or could they see the 76ers as well? Yeah, they could. Yeah, you fired one at each. I fired one at each, did I? All right, they're now out of range of anything meaningful. These guys, I'm gonna fire the Faust, or the Shrek, sorry. And I'm gonna hit you on it. A three is what I'm going to hit you on. A three is what I'm going to hit you on. That yep. didn't work out, did it? These guys firing across here are going to hit on fours because it's long range. And there's is only that right? one of them firing because the other one's and still bailed out. Yeah, but I can't see that token from where I am, so yes. it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, so I'm shooting the one that's furthest away here. Looking for... No. <laughs> Better than ones and threes. And now these, again, one firing at the right unit. Two fire, one firing at the other. So the two shots here looking for fours. One hit, and the two shots there looking for fours. One hit. Anti-tank power is 12. Then you've got armor of six, six up to seven. Up to 12, 12. firepower check to bail. 
Yes, that's a veil. And the other one is seven up to eight because you've got the... Um, extra armor. Extra armor. No, Ooh. firepower to destroy. There we go, boom -oh. And that is gonna conclude the German turn four. Right, turn five. Things have changed. Look at this. I'm back in Extra the game, man. I'm back in the game. Taken out. The Panzers have relocated to a better firing position. Now, the infantry have been absolutely battered. But they, <laughs> yep. they've, they've turned themselves around. They're back in the fight. I don't know what they can achieve, mine. But <laughs> well, they can retreat rather than get slaughtered, I think. We've still got the command tanks over there and the airborne in the garden. Let's see what turn five brings. So both running on the on the knife edge with force morale, aren't we? Because in your case, it's only the tanks that are part of your force morale component, and in my case, it's my infantry and gun teams, which again are really ragged. So um, you're going to start by remounting any bailed out tanks, and your remount number is at, le at least six. So, so he there remounts. We go. However, he's the last one in the unit. So he has to last stand again. Which is probably four up. It definitely isn't one. So if you are bailed out and you fail a last stand check, they dynamite the tanks and leave. If you are in the tank and you pass a last, you fail a last stand, then they drive away. So he... And this affects whether the wreck remains on the battlefield. Yep. <laughs> All right. So there's your bail now, and then you check for formation morale. And for your formation to be in morale, you need to have at least two core units. And you have how many core units, Mike? I have my 76 mils yep. and my command unit, so I have two core units. Boom. Those two are going to stay stationary to deal with the Panzer IVs. This infantry is going to carry on shooting at those infantry. And my command tanks are a little bit now out of the way. So they are just going to move onto the road. E, 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 e. Mm. Like that. Okay, so my mortar is going to range in over here. So we've checked you can't get within four inches of friendly troops with the template. That's not going to happen. The mortar can see it. He's spotting for himself. So to range in, you need to make a skill check, but because the template is gonna cover terrain, it goes up by one, the target number. So what's your skill? It's veteran three plus becomes four. Becomes four. First attempt? No. Nope. No, second attempt? No. Nope. No, third attempt? No. Nope. No. So there is no ranging in this turn, this turn, this. but he can keep doing that. So we take that back. Three ranging attempts seems like a lot, but a yeah. actually the bombardment that you're going to get after a third ranging is really quite ineffective, but it just means you're ahead of the game next time if you have ranged in. So now the rest of the unit are going to be firing. Yes. So how many rifle teams did you have? Because you probably want to do those first to get the, the guys out in the, in the not cover. So I have four... One, two, three, four rifle teams, two so shots each. Eight dice. Oh, and it's just uh, cover and, sorry, concealment. Yes. So fives. So that's four hits. So I'm going to need different colored dice now. So we've got two hits here. And then one on each of these. Now, are these guys aiming for the guys in cover? Because it's where those multiple hits are going to go. They are these, because we're now firing the light machine guns, which are... Oh, they're also... You just keep separating yeah. the dice. They, they're yeah. also... For, I was thinking you're two different firepower numbers here, but yes. you don't. No. No. So these are also hitting on fives. My bad. Another Another two. two. Yeah. So that's just two on everybody. Everybody's got two hits to make. Yeah. So this unit here... Uh, yes, this one here. Yes, this one here. No. Pow. 
Oh, there goes my Faust. Shrek even, but also down to two bases. That unit is no longer in good standing. So not only does it have to make a last hand check every turn, but it no longer counts towards contributing to my force morale. Yep. And you're pinned. And I'm pinned, yeah. No, I unpinned last time. Oh, but I'm pinned again because yeah, I've been hit by another yeah. four. Yeah. So you know, I've just spent most of the game pinned. Uh, thank you, John. And All right. And it just leaves my two 76 mils at your two Panzer fours. Okay. On fives. Because we're stationary, but a range. And so we'll that's have one, one hit. hit. You want to shoot the not bailed out one? I do. So the firepower the anti tank is 12 on your front armor. That is six, yeah. Up to seven for the range. Uh, you penetrated. Oh. Oh, 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 drop dice don't count. Boom. Boom. Oh dear. It's not a glorious day for the Panzerwaffe. I'm going to start by unpinning and remounting. I'm going to remount this tank. I'm going to hope to remount this tank. I do. But then I have to make a last stand check because he's still on his Jack Jones. Which I fail, so he's gone. But he's not a core unit. He's not a core unit, so it isn't as problematic from the force cohesion perspective, but it is problematic from the I don't have many units left perspective. Now, this unit is pinned down. It's going to try and unpin. It, oh, it's probably a four. Probably a four. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a four. And you've only got two units left, so they're last so stand So they have to make well. a last stand now. Their last stand is three, because that that's their special. It's not two, though. It's, <laughs> I'll take the two. You'll take the two. So off they go. Now, this is the bit where perhaps my force is a little bit more coherent than yours, as list design. So these are just the armies that come out of the box. But the, one of the interesting things about the German team that teaches you a bit more about how the game is played and list design is models and a lot, of, apparently a lot of my force. I've still got my command team, I've still got my integral anti-tank teams, and I've still got this platoon here. So I've actually got three elements in my formation morale because almost everything counted. So... I'm, I'm not doing as badly from a force morale perspective as I am from not having any guys left. In my movement phase, I need to decide how I am going to proceed, though, because I have very limited options for shooting. I think these guys still have something to shoot at. I'm, I'm that's a burning <laughs> that's tank. That's a burning tank. Yes, they can that shoot. is a burning tank. So I'm afraid that gun's going to have to move. And I think the moving rate of fire of a gun, I don't know whether it's got one. We're going to have a quick look. It has got a moving rate of fire of one. So we are going to move these guys to be able to take some shots. If I was an armoured vehicle, I'd be able to make a blitz move. But I'm not an armoured vehicle. So I can't, <laughs> however much I might wish to. So here we go. We've done this and we're gonna take two shots over there and two shots over there. And we're gonna cross our fingers, sing glory hallelujah <laughs> and hope, Gott mit uns. <laughs> and we are actually gonna kill four tanks in one round. What do you reckon, John? Can I do it? Yes, you can. I've got I've got one shot each. Can I kill four shots, no tanks in one round? I sincerely hope not. No. <laughs> okay, this one's going to fire across there. So it is long range. Oh, is it long range? Because I nudged forwards. A decision I may regret. It is long range here, which means it is over there. So it's... Are they aggressive? They might not be. They're three pluses. They are three pluses. So it's, aggr it's three long range, four... Concealment five. That is not a hit. And over here at the commander's tank, at the captain, captain, my captain, a three. Boo! And at the end of round five, with the Panzerwaffe blazing, the certain knowledge that I've only got a handful of bases of infantry and two gun teams in the open, 
I am going to nobly concede the game. Mr. Walnut, Wally Mike, thank you for the game. If you enjoyed what you'd seen, why don't you come check us out on modelingforadvantage.co.uk. There's loads of different ways you can support the channel over there, including merch, that kind of stuff.